Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Thought I would get on here and do a little update on Mr. Marley, who is over there by the fire pit. Um, I thought I'd do an update on how he's doing after his dental this past Tuesday, and he is doing wonderful. Um, the only problem he had was that night of his dental, um, about 10.30 at night, he threw up, and I think it was due to um, the anesthesia, the pain meds he was on, um, having an empty stomach that whole day um, because you can't feed them after midnight, the day of the procedure. They can only have water, so his stomach was empty all night. They had tried to give him a little bit of food at the vet. He wouldn't eat it. I gave him some canned food at 7 that night, and he ate it. But I think with all those other factors and then giving him canned food, which his system is not used to because my boys do not eat canned food, um, on top of the anesthesia, pain meds, and all that, I think he threw up because he has not thrown up since. Uh, the next day after his dental, I decided I wasn't going to give him canned food. I was just going to give him his dry food because um, the vet said it, should, it would be fine. I just thought canned food would be easier on him. So the next morning I gave him dry food for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and he was totally fine. Um, he's been eating it since, um, has had no problems with it. My boys, um, no, no, you don't want that. Hold on guys, you don't want this. No, these things fall out of this tree over here in the neighbor's yard. And um, the boys were ignoring them all this this whole summer that they've been falling. Hold on, I'm gonna throw it over the fence. <laughs> You know, if you're new, this is uh, uh, the other side of the fence is our yard too. So I'm not throwing it in anyone else's yard. I'm throwing it in our yard. Just getting it out of here so he can't mess with it. Um, yeah, they've ignored those all year. And then the past couple days, I've noticed them playing with them. Not chewing them or trying to eat them. Just carrying them around. <laughs> They're crazy. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, yes. He's been eating his dry food fine. Um... If you don't know, I use slow feed bowls anyways with my boys. Um, excuse the cicada bugs. I think that's how you pronounce it. Making all the noise in the background. Um, yeah, uh, they use slow feed bowls because they eat their food so fast. And even with the slow feed bowls, they don't chew their food. They just inhale it still. Um, so he's probably not even chewing his food when he's eating. There he is back there. In the corner um so he's had no problem i know a lot of people were asking how was he gonna eat because he lost seven teeth um he can eat just fine um he previously he's seven years old uh when he was four years old he lost i think it was seven to nine teeth so he's lost a lot of teeth before this so he's lost roughly now about a total of 14 teeth and Look at Magna. <laughs> and Miggy, when he was four years old, he lost 17 teeth at one time. So, and he gets along just fine. He eats his dog food fine. He eats bully sticks fine. He eats milk bones fine. Um, the rawhide free bones I give him, he can eat just fine. <laughs> So yeah, they can, I know a lady told me her dog has like four teeth left, I think. And she said her dog eats dry dog food and treats just fine. So dogs are very resilient when they lose their teeth. Let me tell you, when Mickey lost his 17 teeth, I thought, oh my goodness. But the next day he was up and around and just acting like his normal self, like nothing ever happened. So, um, what was the other question I had? Oh, the other question I had was, you said he was only going to lose one tooth. Well, I knew one tooth for sure because they noticed it was loose when they touched it. And he iked when they uh, touched it. So they knew that one was going to have to come. And they noticed that he had some gum disease going on. But they weren't, they can't, they don't know for sure until they take um, x-rays. So they can see what's going on underneath that tooth in the gum area. And they found that he had 
um, in a couple of his teeth they removed, there was abscess uh, in the gums underneath his teeth. So those had to come out. Um, yeah, so I'm glad my, I know a lot of vets don't do x-rays when they do dental, but I'm glad my vet does. So that way we can get all the teeth out of there that need to be taken out so he's not having any pain or any problems. So because if you don't keep, if you don't keep your dog's teeth, um, if they have periodontal disease, it can cause other problems like with the kidney, liver function, and liver functions. Um, different organs can be affected if they have that gum disease and you don't take care of it. So I'm happy it's all taken care of. Yes, Marley, I'm so happy. And his um, little bumpy head removed. I don't know if you can see it. It looks a little shadowed on the lens, but that's uh, healing up nice. Uh, there's no swelling there. I've been looking at his gums daily and there's no swelling on his gums. I haven't noticed any bleeding. Um, they told me to keep an eye out for pus or anything. I haven't seen anything. It all looks great. So he's healing up really good. What do you want me to do with this? You want me to kick it? <laughs> yeah, when Miggy lost his teeth, I thought, oh my goodness, when he, when, when they called to tell me he's losing 17 teeth, I thought, oh my goodness, is he going to be able to play ball anymore? Because he grabs it with this front of his mouth and as you can tell, he plays ball just fine. Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to do this quick update. I wanted to also say um, thank you to all our new subscribers. I've had quite a few new subscribers lately and I noticed the video that I titled um, Life with Six Schnauzers and then I had the date of the video on there that I filmed it. I noticed that one's getting a ton of views so I don't know if that's where all the new subscribers are coming from but thanks so much for subscribing. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. Um, was that showing up in your uh i know one person said it showed up in their recommended uh videos so maybe that's where people are finding us and checking us out and subscribing so i thank you guys so much um i tried to do videos monday wednesday friday um this past week i was not able to uh with marley's dental tuesday and then i had to take magnum to the vet wednesday to get a vaccination I've been working on a bunch of product or products. Uh, <laughs> um, I've been working on a bunch of different pro uh, little projects in the house. If you're new, you may not know, we moved to this house just uh, a couple months ago and I'm painting. I was going through our storage area, um, going through everything there, reorganizing, took a carload of donations to the Salvation Army. so. I've got a lot of little projects I want to get done before we go on our little uh, trip this upcoming weekend. We're taking a four-day vac uh, vacation up north here in Michigan to Osco to Michigan. So I'm trying to get all these little projects done before we go so I don't have to think about doing them when I get back. So today I'm painting uh, at the main uh, front door entrance. I'm repainting in there. They... Um, the people who we bought this house from purchased this house um, and did a flip. Uh, it was very outdated and they remodeled the kitchen, the bathrooms, they painted, remodeled the fireplace. But when they painted, they did not do a very good job <laughs> at all. Um, it looked great like when you were looking at the house, checking it out, seeing if you wanted to buy it because you really weren't looking, you know at the little, or I wasn't looking at the little imperfections of a paint job, but once you got in here and you really started looking at things, you thought, boy, they really did a crappy job painting this house. So I'm trying to repaint uh, all the rooms eventually, um, but I'm just kind of starting small right now. Look at Magnum right there. You see him? He's watching all the other boys through the railings, seeing what they're doing. What are you doing, Magnum? What are you doing over there? Checking out your yard? Huh? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna end the video here because I gotta get in and uh, finish painting. Um, I don't know where everyone went. Are they back behind the shed? We put up some fencing to try to keep them out of here, but it's not working so well. After they caught that squirrel I posted about. What's going on over here? 
What's going on? Oh, here's the other boys over here. Mozzie, Max. Mozzie, what are you doing? You stay out of there. I don't want you back there. No. Yes, I posted on Facebook that Mozzie killed a squirrel. First, I thought it was a chipmunk. Someone pointed out, no, that's a squirrel. <laughs> um, yeah, he caught a squirrel. And he was so proud. Scared the living daylights out of me. I screamed because um, I went to wipe his feet. It was in the morning. Went to wipe his feet because uh, they get wet from the dew on the grass. And I looked up and he had a squirrel hanging from his mouth. <laughs> and his face... His eyes, you could just see like him smiling through his eyes like, Mom, I finally got one. I finally got one. Um, <laughs> they've gotten chipmunks before. They've gotten birds. Um, uh, little moles. What else have they gotten? A toad. Uh, bunnies. Little baby bunnies, which was the most saddest thing ever. But these boys, mini schnauzers, were bred to uh, keep rodents off farmers' fields. So... That's what they were bred to do. And <laughs> when, I, when I saw it and I saw his face, it was just like he had the biggest smile on his face through his eyes that he had finally got a squirrel and he was so happy. Um, of course, I screamed though. And then when I screamed, he dropped it. <laughs> and uh, I felt bad screaming and scaring him, but I was not expecting that when I went to grab his feet to clean him off. <laughs> so yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go and um, finish up what I'm doing, and I hope everybody's having a great weekend, this Labor Day weekend, and I hope everyone in Florida is safe. I know there's a storm coming, a hurricane. I hope you guys are all prepared and safe, and your, and your babies are safe uh, with you, and um, I'm praying for you guys. So, all right, guys, we will talk to you again next week. Bye.